welcome back to Calabunga Corner. In this episode, we are talking with Steve, who is one of the main designers for the Ninja Turtle toys, starting with the very first action figure. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, great. Good. What inspired you to get involved in uh, sculpting and get, uh, becoming uh, a toy designer? Um, well, like before I was a toy designer, I was in uh, sculpting for movies and there's really large stuff and I was up in a cherry picker one day working on King Kong and I decided I need to get a desk job. <laughs> so, um, you know, Mattel was around the corner and so I went over there and got a job at a desk sculpting toys. What was uh, one of the first toy lines you worked on? Uh, well, at Mattel, I, mainly it was Barbies and girls toys I, I did a lot of that sort of thing but when I um, uh, after Mattel the first job I got was doing the aliens for the Star Trek movie they were the three and three quarter inch uh, alien alien toys there was like six of them so um, so that that's when I really started doing more boys toys and stuff and and then you know Later got into turtles, did a lot of stuff for Hasbro, like in humanoids and, and uh, cops, and I don't know if anybody remembers Army Ants. They that was kind of a fun line. We did like tons of those, and um, so you know. And then the turtles. We did the turtles for about twelve years. You know, I did the first one. This is the first one that was ever sculpted here, and, and that's uh, what went to Toy Fair that first year. And uh, and then after that, it was like turtles, turtles, turtles. Making them mainly for children is what it was known back then. You guys put a lot, a lot of detail in there. Did you realize there was adult collectors in there, or did you just enjoy the art of putting it together to look just right? We, we just enjoyed doing the detail, and and we you know we figured the detail would be appreciated. So, you know, why not? And, and the guys at Playmates, too, at the time, like Carl Aronian and Mark Cathrell, they were really into detail, too, and, and uh, encouraged us to, you know, just really, and just let us go, just let us do whatever we want, basically. But, you know, encouraged more detail. The detail has yeah. always been fantastic. And I've really enjoyed most of them, like the movie toy lines. All the way through, it's one of those things when you get them, you kind of look at the different things on each character. The Rat King was just covered in different little rats and oh, yeah. rags and, and wrappings, <laughs> and yeah, he was he was a lot of fun to do. Was there any toy that was uh, particularly hard because of all the detail uh, that you really appreciate to this day because it came out right? Well, Muckman had a lot of detail on him. I mean, he was he was pretty detailed. Um, I, I like the kind of detail that the you know the the dinosaurs had. That was that was fun, fun type of skin detail and stuff. But you know, and the and the Indian chief here. I mean, he was pretty cool. I loved all the feather detail that we got to, to uh, put on him. So I mean, they they were all kind of special in their own way, and each one of them was quite different, but very detailed. <laughs> Did you have any art teachers or anyone who influenced your artistic side? Um, not so many art teachers really, but I had mentors that uh, when, I, er, when I was in the business early on, some sculptors that I worked with that I just thought were phenomenal. And, you know, so of course, you know, I'd be asking them all sorts of questions and, you know, they were, these, these t you know, particular people were re really generous with their time and their, and, you know, just liked the fact that I was, you know, like a sponge, you know, soaking it all up. So they were going to, you know, give me whatever I need, you know, I needed to, to learn more. And, and I did. It was great. How did uh, the Ninja Turtle line approach you? How did they come to you to design this toy? Well, they just called me up one day and uh, one of the guys there said, um, a guy by the name of John Handy, he called me up and said, you know, we've got this comic book and um, yeah, we want you to come over and take a look at it and see if you can sculpt this for us. And so he brought me over there and he opened up the comic book, it was a black and white comic book, and he said, you know, we, we really love this storyline 
and we love the concept of these characters, but we think they need to be a little bit more saleable. So, I mean, what can you do? What I would like to see your rendition of this, of these. So, you know, I came home and just uh, got some wire armature and put some clay on it and started playing with it and came up with this little clay sketch and, you know, they liked it, They so we went with it and, and so that was the beginning of it and the first four turtles were pretty much like that except for the tail and, um, and then we just went from there and then we just kept, you know, sort of putting more detail into them, more character, you know, throwing them in other costumes and, and uh, so, you know, it just sort of evolved. When did you first realize that Ninja Turtles was turning into the hit that it became in the early 90s? Well, I, I wasn't really sure, but when, I, when, I, when they first showed me the comic book and asked me to do it, I, I was skeptical. And then as I started working on it and getting into it and started sculpting it, I started going, you know, this is really cool. I, I, you know, I was really getting into it. I was starting to like it. And, um, you know, shortly after that, you know, especially after Toy Fair that year when they said, you know, let's just start making them. This is a go, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I really saw that, you know, this was going to be good. And uh, it was. It was a phenomenal hit, actually. Did you ever watch any of the cartoons or movies? Oh, I love the car cartoons. And I watched the first uh, two two or three movies. I, 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 the live action. No, they were good. They were, they were good. I mean, if there again, the first one, I actually went to the premiere with all those guys in New York um, uh, of the first movie. And I, after the movie was over, I wasn't sure how successful it was going to be. <laughs> But, you know, there again it was, you know, and it was, and it was great, and it was, it was, it was really a lot of fun sculpting the movie Turtles, you know, for the toys. We, I really enjoyed that, because then we got to go in a little different direction, and it was fun. By that time, we had done a lot of the same, same sort of uh, stuff, so it was nice to have a new, a kind of a new direction in the look. A new for concept. That, for that series, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, speaking about directions with looks, uh, did you guys do all the designings or did designs come in from elsewhere that you guys had to sculpt? Well, um, in the beginning, most of the designs came from Mirage, um, you know, Michael Dooney and those guys over there. But, you know, it got to a point where they just didn't, they couldn't do all the stuff. So they started asking us to do a lot of the designs too. So they'd call us up and they'd go, you know, caveman turtles. So we'd start, you know, whipping out drawings of caveman turtles and until they liked it and then, you know, and then we'd sculpt it or they'd do like Air Force Turtle or but you know, they just throw out, you know, that and then we just run with it. And uh, with all the crazy toy lines of the different stuff like the cave and air force and um, we had so many different turtles, uh, the tomb turtles, mm -hmm. uh, troll turtles. Did you have a favorite series that you guys had to put together? I I don't know if I really had a favorite. I think a lot of them were my favorites. I loved all the cave turtles. You know, they came with the dinosaurs and the, and uh, different things. I mean, like the the Indian turtle, the cowboy turtle, the army turtle. I mean, they were all. I the, there was a lot of them that were my favorites. I mean, there were some that maybe weren't my favorites, but. They were, you know, might have been the ones like the, you know, jumping turtles or the, you know, the ones that, you know, converted or whatever. Just because you had to have so much mechanics in them that I could, you know, it was hard to make them look as good as you wanted. The to. mutation turtles. Right. With the turtle toys, did you guys also carve and put together the vehicles? No, we didn't. We didn't do the vehicles. We 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 pretty much only did the turtles. We did some bad guys, but. It was mainly the turtles. We did all the turtle balls and, and that sort of thing. But uh, We've all appreciated the artwork and stuff. How many um, sculptures were there working on the original turtle series? Oh. I mean, at one 
point we we had but we were doing a lot more than turtles we were doing all the McDonald's stuff toys too and we were, we were doing a bunch of other things but at one point we had about 25 people so and now we're down to four <laughs> you know well there was a high demand yeah there was a high demand there was a high demand not just for turtles but for a lot of sculpture back then back in the 90s was was the best time so throughout the years you've done a lot of sculptures and as we can see there's a few here mm -hmm. have you kept most of those sculptures throughout the years oh i have ton yes i have most of them i still have them they might be broken up or or you know they need to be put back together but i I've, I've i've kept you know most of the waxes some of the clays even and uh um i have you know a lot of urethane copies of of stuff you know I've, Tried to keep a, a log of everything, so keep it, it all categorized. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Although it's not as categorized as it used to be, but, uh, but uh, we have a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of them made. Yeah, and it's not just turtles. It's you know McDonald's toys. It's all sorts of things. All the Star Trek stuff. It's. Can you explain the different processes that the toys go through, um, being made? Well, yeah, it's like in the you know, to begin with, we would do this is a this is a clay here of a dinosaur. You can see how, you know, kind of rough it is, and so we would go to this point, and then we would um, make a rubber mold of it, and then cast it into wax. Of course, it's a different dinosaur, but this is, and then we would detail it in in this in the wax. And after that, we would go, we would take another mold uh, of it, and then, you know, we'd get a urethane copy. Is that um, one of these right here? No, that's actually no? wax. I don't... That's wax. Well, okay. this is a urethane in here, actually, the, the turtle. Yeah. Okay. So, and then, and then we'd take one of the urethane copies and we'd paint it for the paint master, because we did all the paint masters, too. Um, and that, you know, that's basically the process. And then they would send one of the urethane copies unpainted and one that was painted to China and they'd make the the steel molds off the unpainted one and then they'd use the painted ones to make their paint masks and stuff so that they could paint it. They'd use it as a guide. So. How long did it take for sculpting just one prototype? It could take, you know, six, eight weeks to do one. So That's a lot of a lot of yeah. work right into one character. Well, especially so. because you know if you, it, you know the, they would always have changes on things too. You know, so you know you get it finished or almost finished, and then they go, oh well, you know, can you make the legs longer or the, you know, whatever. You know, it's it's, uh, and then you'd have to do that. And when when we were doing it with in clay and wax, that meant cutting it up. And you know it's and changing it, and it was uh, a lot of work. It's a little less work now that we do it digitally. How how does the digital sculpting work? Could you explain a little bit of that to our viewers? Oh, how does it work? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, in in the in different computer programs, you can start um, uh, with just spheres or or different shapes and then and then just start pushing and pulling and tugging and carving and and just like you would with a piece of clay and just um, you know turn it into the digital sculpt the night but the nice thing about it is that you know if you need to make say the neck longer on this character you could just digitally cut it off and just you know put it in an XYZ layout and just like you know make it taller in the Y and it in it you could just like stretch it and uh, and then put it back and then just fuse it back into the body and, and you know it's a lot Easier simpler than, than cutting up you know wax. <laughs> Do you miss having your hands in the clay working on this? Um, I don't know. I it, you know they're two different things, and I really like both of them. Uh, but I, but I I've gotten so used to the digital now that I I uh, 
I think, you know, working in clay and wax again, I'd be going, you know, where's the mirror image? Where's the undo button, you know? Now, you guys are a completely different company than Playmates Toys. Right, yeah. Um, how many toy companies do you guys work for or other companies? Well, we, we work for several. I mean, we have worked for practically all of them, you know, at one time or another. Um, but, I mean, we do a lot of work for Spin Master and... We do some for MGA and, and uh, Playmates, of course, and um, you know, and then you know, just some other smaller toy companies. We've worked for Mattel, Hasbro, um, Kenner when it was around. There's a lot of toy companies that we work for a lot that aren't in existence, and most people don't even remember anymore. Like you know, Mego and and uh, Tonka. And, Oh, we do work work for Jack Specific. You know, um, they do you know wrestlers and all the. Um, uh, we were doing tons of Pokemon for them. So, now is Ninja Turtles the biggest toy line that you've worked on personally, or have you worked on some of the other really major ones like you just mentioned Pokemon? That's well, been around yeah, for I've a worked on a lot of other major lines, but uh, Ninja Turtles are probably the ones that we were most a part of because I mean we were really a part of it right from the beginning and you know um, creating the toys that's for sure the, the look of the toys and everything uh, whereas you know other lines like Pokemon and stuff I mean we just you know do what they tell us to do basically now with the turtle toy line have you been with them all the way straight through to now or has there been any times where there was a break from? Oh yeah, there was a there was a break because they, um, I think, in the early two thousand started going to China with just about everything, and um, now they're back. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's but but it's not just them. I mean, mo most of the toy companies went through that period, and you know they're still doing a lot of stuff over there, but they're doing more stuff I think here now than they were so it, it's kind of they go back and forth now you guys have been even with the the companies going to China have you been able to keep a steady flow of business with sculpting throughout the years uh, we've you know not the same steady flow but um, we've we have been you know we have gotten work we've still been able to work just it's just not at the same rate, not as much, and uh, but you know now it's it, it's getting a lot better again. It's coming back. Yeah, but there was a there was a period of time where it was it was pretty you know pretty scarce. You know, it was times. all going over there. Ouch. Yeah. Well, it's, thankfully it's coming back. Right. Mm -hmm. so, and it's really good to see hands of someone who helped bring the turtles to what it was back in the day, back working with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thank you for all of the fantastic work you've done. I know I've got so many favorite turtle toys that I couldn't just pick out one or two to say, oh, this is my, because they're all so well done. Yeah, um, well, I, I kind of feel the same way. It's like when you ask me what my favorite I don't have a favorite. I got lots of favorites. Is there anything you would like to say to the fans and collectors that have been buying these toys for years? Well, I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy them, and uh, we enjoyed making them. So that's great. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we're very happy to have you here in Cowabunga Corner. Maybe cool. sometime we'll catch you for a follow-up. Okay, great. <laughs> so, th uh, thank you everyone for watching, and we'll catch you next time here in Cowabunga Corner.